Well, hello and welcome to our live coverage on what is, of course, a very big day on the American continent. It is the opening day of this great competition, the great party featuring 12 nations, and the turnout reflects the significance. The atmosphere, a real treat for those who are part of it. It is indeed special. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. On performance and now here comes the response The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. And that gets things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Who else but Lionel Messi? I don't need to tell anyone what he's capable of. Some critics don't rate him as the best player on the planet. Um, that's because the Argentinian, for me, is on a different planet. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. I thought... Paredes conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Acuna. And here's Dybala. Messi! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. to get it away now it's William Paredes has a pop goal Argentina perfect placement the one place the keeper couldn't reach well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. <laughs> big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, that could be a huge goal for them because we know that registering first always gives you that psychological upper ground. That intervention was very necessary. Brazil have it back and they can go again. Neymar spreads it towards the left. 
the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Timely intervention. Defence has got rid of that. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Argentina seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Neymar. Paredes, battle. Paredes has been caught there, it's a foul. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Thiago Silva. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He's got away. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Hits one! Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. Paredes. Looks to thread it through. He's through. And the defence can get it clear. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Danilo. Throw it. Paredes. Now it's Dybala. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. The referee's awarded a free kick. Gabriel Jesus. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And here's... It's Neymar! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. And the whistle goes for half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. And you'd be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Argentina head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And we're already back underway here. Referee has seen that as a dive. Well, he knows very well that was never a foul. He has made himself look ridiculous. Paredes. Otamendi. Acuna, who has made his impact already, loses his balance and loses the ball. Arthur. Dybala provides an outlet. Messi. Messi! He's done very well to get to that. Messi sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Paredes, and it's Dybala, and helps available out wide. Well, oh, Red, he sorted that out. <laughs> William drives it forward. Dybala. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Danilo. Danilo with the crossfield ball. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that 
if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Messi. And it's Dybala. Acuna. Danilo. Gets away from his opponents. Neymar just brushed off the ball there. Arthur. Tries to get it forward quickly. Argentina are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. He's got away with one there. Acuna. Lobs it in gently. That's a decent ball. Has a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Brazil need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Messi plays a clever pass. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. And there goes the final whistle. Argentina have got off to an ideal start. Three points on day one, and it goes well for the campaign ahead. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?